What I'm going to show you here is how to set up a VPS. A VPS is a server. It's like a, a Heroku for grown-ups or an Amazon Web Services for people that don't have a headache. So DigitalOcean is by far the simplest and easiest to set up. I've tried many different VPS providers and I love these guys the most. So I will click sign up and put in my email address. Now they're going to send me a confirmation email. So I'll go back to gmail.com to open that up. There it is. Clickety clickety. All is well. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credit card information. These things only cost, it's less than one cent per hour. So it's great for, for testing if you just want to spin up um, a VPS to try something out real quick on any operating system of your choice. So let me just uh, do this. So I have a lot of people ask me, AJ, I didn't see you put in your credit card there. That's because I fast forwarded through that part. And now I'm going to create a droplet. I'm going to go ahead and choose the, oh, I have to put in a host name. So I'll call this one test.me. See, look at that. It's under one cent per hour. I'll just go ahead and leave the default region. And then I like Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit. Sounds good to me. I'm not going to add my SSH key at this time. I'm going to go ahead and create the droplet. It's going to take approximately oh, 60, 30, some number of seconds. So here we go. We've got the IP address. So I'll go ahead and copy that. I've got my terminal open. I'm going to SSH root at that lovely IP address. And then I should have in my email, if I go back here, my root password. So I'll just copy that. Yes. And then I'm pasting. You don't see anything show up, but I pasted that root password. It asked me to change the password, so I paste in the current one. Put in my new one. Okay, and now I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to search for, I'll do it in this tab here for myself. I have a repository for installing Node right here. And all I got to do is copy this little snippet, paste it, and hit enter. And within just a couple minutes, the system will be updated and it will be running Node and also fail to ban. Not strictly necessary for Node development, but strictly necessary for any VPS. Unless you're sure that you are using something else that's comparable. So if somebody tries to, you know, like some Chinese botnet tries to get in by entering the wrong username and password over SSH several times, it'll just block them. All right, that actually took quite a bit longer than usual, but I think it's because it's just after Christmas and everybody's got their new shiny laptops powered on and installing all their development tools and NPM's kind of crowded or something like that. Anyway, now we have a server that's uh, ready to install Node Web Apps and do development on. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.